versus Samsung. We'll see if they can get the 2-0. It was pretty one-sided in game number one. If the game does not begin with Kuve dying immediately, I think Samsung will have a better chance. Truer words were never spoken. That's right. Well, it's time, guys. Game number two. Can Najin get the 2-0? Or will Samsung tie it up? Time to get in the game and find out. So he's going to take out the ward in the river just so they don't know where he's going. And what he's oh, up to, Oku to OQ. gets wrapped. Oh, wow. I don't know why you would try to recall there. Oh, OQ. First blood goes to Wraith. Wow. OQ. From. I, I mean, I said it in picks and bands. I would like to see the Zed again. I feel like it would have worked okay. Ultimate on to Fury here as Watch tries to come in from the side. He's going to take the lantern right onto him, but there's the box. They're going to slow him down enough. Oh, but Goon comes in. Can they make something happen? Watch has to flash away. Gets out of the absolute zero, but the ignite is not quite enough. But the flash from Crown will pick up that kill. And now Najin on the run. Samsung, they get the snowball onto Pure, but OQ fading away with that calling. It's not going to save his support, though. Double kill for Crown. And Kuve just tying up Duke at the top side. Can he get the solo kill right now? No. Not going to be uh, enough quite. damage. Duke does have a little bit of MR. Yep, there it goes. So they have all three outer turrets done now. Crowd coming up to help. There's a flash. Wow, and they just annihilate OQ. Duke now coming in, wants to maybe make a play right here. He doesn't have spike, though. Yeah, Box used just to zone out Duke, and they take that Dragon Lee easily. And no minion wave, really, for Najin to make them pay for this. With the turret, they're going to go in anyway. There's the flash stun on the Fury. Fury getting very low. OQ managed to get a kill here. This could be where Najin turns around. We'll see. No, now with Duke ulting out of the fight. Crown starting to do a lot of damage. There's a double kill for him. And this may be a little bit out of reach already for Najin. And they didn't push the wave far enough into the top lane either. It just reversed on the tower without doing much damage at the tier two. So Najin not even taking as much advantage out of that as they could have. Nope. Oh, OQ may be able to get a kill under Wraith here. No, not quite. And they get they get Fury, and that's great. Yeah. But at the same time, they get caught in a choke point in the Chaos Storm and taking multiple death rays right there, where Crown gets even more fed than he was. They're going to go. Whoa. Nice kill. Yeah, they got him. And now Goon wants to get another one. He may get under Wraith. Double kill actually end up going to OQ Goon. Well, one good team fight for Samsung, and it could be, could be pretty over. Oh, Duke. Getting a bit aggressive there, but not finding anyone to ult onto or anything like that. Samsung moving through a pretty big choke. Najin could try to come in. Oh, they catch Kube just off on his own completely. Easy pick for Najin. Kube way out of position there, and now Najin can press his advantage. Watch, Watch come, coming in. Yep. Yeah. Uh, he gets the chilling spike, but that's it. But can they take a tower off of this? Will he be bold Maybe. enough to go for a Baron? Perhaps there's pings onto the Baron right now. Well, there is a ward in that brush. They can do it pretty quickly, I'd imagine. Yeah, they're just going to go for it. I mean, they have the Cassiopeia right here. Yeah, it's going to well. be 22 seconds before Kube can come off. That may have been the critical pick that they needed. Man, Kube way out of position. All time to eat. Pure just trying to slow them down. They get the Baron. They're going to turn on this right now. Pure very, very low. And the flash. Wow, Fury. He hit the Scuttle Crab instead of Pure, and Pure makes it out. Yeah, Oops. Pure also getting. Man, Samsung should just push out the waves right now and run out the rest of this Baron timer and let them have the dragon. Screw the dragon, it doesn't really matter. Well, Fury doesn't have flash either right now, so here comes the teleport. Samsung wants to try, Najin backing out for just a moment. Dragon still goes to Najin, they're gonna go in onto Wraith, it looks like Goon walks into the box. Here we go. It's an okay alt, and here we go. Duke coming in from behind, that's right. Fury still in an okay spot though. Goon looking for an opportunity to do that consistent damage. Eve hits him with a snowball, and gets taken out, double kill. For Goon, he got a nice off at the beginning of that fight. Watch comes in with a knock up on the crown. The damage still alive for Samsung right now. They need to be so careful. Najin, a little bit low health. And they opted into Whoa, that fight. Whoa, on the Kube. Kube immediately. Goon, fragile, but doing the damage. Needs to be careful. One more to Kube, and Goon gets three kills so far this fight. I'd be very careful here. Yeah, that's why. you still got Fury and Crown to deal with. I think if you're Najin, you just back off and that everyone can stand still and avoid the tremor sense. You're going to see someone wandering into that brush. They're going to do it. Oh, wow. OK. All right, here we go. Get ready for, I was going to say, get ready for the world's biggest Cassie Beal. But oh, oh, they're going in. All right, give me a little bit of trouble here. Goong already taking some damage. Gets a big three-man ult, though. And Najin, can they follow it up? Can the damage happen? Goong 
comes back, and yeah, Najin's gonna take this fight so easy. There's the ace, perfect ace, and that is gonna be it with 70 second death timers. The game is going to end, and Najin will get that 2-0. Not and even bothering with the Baron, you don't need it. And again, Goog coming in with the ghost there. Didn't even have to flash to get that big ult. Samsung just not doing a good job of kiting. They kind of went toe-to-toe -to -toe right there instead of just peeling back. Yeah, well, uh, Duke able to get into the back line way too easier than he, too much, uh, too easily. Oh, another huge three-man ult by Goong. Immediately Zonia stays alive and the rest of the team cleans up. That's a 2-0 for Najin at the end. That is a, let's see, 16,000 gold swing in that game from being 7K down to being 9K ahead. You wow. gotta feel bad for Samsung because they did so yeah. much right in the early game it's true. to get that lead and they were very, very close to closing that game out. But that is the importance of understanding how compositions interact. and.